Hello everybody, hello, and it's so nice to see all of your work and we've had such lovely comments about our lessons about the monkeys, gelada monkeys, well we're, we're keeping on working and we want to learn about gelada monkeys, but today we want to really hear what more factual scientific writing sounds like and we want to, you to learn some more formal, more serious scientific terms so that you can use those accurately in your writing. So we've got three things we're going to do. First we're going to read some information from the Encyclopedia Britannica about gelada monkeys and have a look here where it says you will need your fact file from yesterday about the gelada monkeys, whatever notes you've got about them. So make sure you've got those. Pause the video if you need to. Yeah, so we're going to read some information from the Encyclopedia Britannica about gelada monkeys. We're going to look at tone, how we're talking, how we're writing, and vocabulary, the words we're using. And I want you to notice how the Encyclopedia Britannica uses a very formal tone. They're writing in a serious factual way, the way a scientist writes to communicate scientific information. And we're going to look at some of those words and we're going to make sure that you understand what they mean and then you're going to have a go at trying to use those words in your own sentences. So make sure you've got your fact file ready or your notes or at least a piece of paper. Okay. So this is some of the information that the Encyclopedia Britannica gives us about our friends, the gelada monkeys. So it starts off, I'll read it, gelada monkey. And then we've got this set work bit here, Theropithecus gelada. Theropithecus gelada. What's that? Ah! It's the Latin name. Scientists have common language names. So gelada monkey is the, what we would call the common English name. But every species of animals also has a Latin name that scientists use when talking with other scientists all around the world so that everybody knows exactly which creature they are talking about. Gelada monkey, Theropithecus gelada, a baboon-like monkey, a member of the primate family. Well, all the words in red are words we're going to talk about. Inhabits the mountains of Ethiopia. There's another word in red, inhabits. Can live up to 5,000 metres above sea level, Lives in groups among steep cliffs and high plateaus. We're going to look at what they are. It's a terrestrial monkey. What does that mean? Not arboreal. Oh, we're getting some really good scientific words. And don't worry, all of these words, we're going to look through them in this video to make sure we know what they are. And we're going to try and use them ourselves. These monkeys are diurnal. Ah, we've got the meaning of di diurnal here. Active during the day. Diurnal, the opposite of nocturnal. Nocturnal animals are creatures like owls that are awake and active during the night. Diurnal creatures are awake and active during the day. They're gramnivorous. They, that means that they feed almost exclusively on grass. So another gramnivorous animal would be... Can you think of another creature that eats mainly grass? Hmm, on a farm? Okay, well, cows, sheep, they eat mainly grass. Stocky build. Well, stocky means not very tall, but very wide and strong for their height. 
Now look at this gelada monkey. He's not very tall, but he's very wide, got very wide shoulders. So that's what that word stocky means. Strong, wide, powerful muscles. They have white eyelids, brown fur, a tufted tail and a bald big chest. Male geladas have a long, heavy mane, and males are significantly larger than females. Males may be more than 70 centimetres long and 19 kilograms, but the female is only 12 kilograms. So, that's from the Encyclopedia Britannica, and you'll see it uses that quite formal scientific language that I'd like us to practice in our work today. But first things first, can you add anything to your fact file? Pause the video. See, is there anything that you can add? I hope you added some information to your notes or to your fact file because we will be using this fact file in the next lesson to write about these gelada monkeys. OK, so we're going to go back through now all the words in red. So our first word was primate. It's a member of, a lot of monkeys are members of the primate family. Well, these are all primates. Do you know what they are? Can you name them? We'll go back in a minute. But first of all, we must say primates is the name that zoologists, here we have zoologists, scientists who specialise in the study of animals. The primates is the name given to a group of animals, including apes, monkeys, baboons, lemurs, and bush babies. So some examples of primates, it's quite a big group, would be gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, all of the baboon species, gibbons, Howler monkeys, spider monkeys, capuchin monkeys. So let's see. Pause the video. Can you name these five kinds of primate? Have a go. Okay. Well, we'll start over here on the right. This one's a gorilla. This one's unusual. It used to be classified as a kind of baboon, but scientists now say that mandrills, it's a mandrill, are not really baboons, although they've got that long baboon-like kind of face snout, almost like a dog. This is a kind of monkey called a capuchin monkey. Capuchin monkeys you will always be able to recognise because it looks like they're wearing like a kind of white face and a black hood over the top. This little fellow with the big eyes is a bush baby. They're some of the smallest primates. And over here is the, this is a kind of lemur, like King Julian, if you've seen those films. So these are all primates and zoologists scientists put humans in the primate family. So, right, we're looking now at this idea that, let's have a look, gelada monkeys inhabit the plateaus and mountains of Ethiopia. So, first of all, let's look at that word inhabit. Inhabit is a more formal way to say they live in. So, gelada monkeys live in or live on the plateaus and mountains of Ethiopia. And a plateau is not quite the same as a mountain. So this is a plateau and this is a mountain. So I suppose that we all know what a mountain looks like. Mountains have got this shape where they go up and they reach a peak or a summit. So there isn't very, there is no flat ground or not much at the top of a mountain. They come to a point, to a peak or a summit. A plateau is not the same. Plateaus go up steeply, so they have these steep cliffs, 
but when you get to the top, they can be very flat. So this is a plateau. Can you see that steep land going up? But then it's not going to a point, to a peak. It's quite, quite um, flat. That's a plateau. All right. Gelada monkeys are terrestrial, not arboreal. Well, we've got some more scientific words to know here. Arboreal means to do with trees. Arboreal primates spend almost all of their time living in the trees, climbing the trees on the branches, and almost all of the smaller monkeys and the bush babies are arboreal. So they tend to be lighter and they find almost all of their food, fruits and berries and insects, they'll find them in the trees. But terrestrial primates, terrestrial means that they spend their time on the ground. So terrestrial primates, terrestrial is a word meaning they spend their, to do with the earth or the ground. Terrestrial primates spend most of their time on the ground. It doesn't mean to say they're not good climbers. Gelada monkeys are amazing climbers. But they mainly live and they feed on the ground. Like gorillas. Gorillas are good climbers. They don't spend most of their time in the trees though. They are terrestrial primates as well. So we use that word terrestrial. So what have we looked at so far? What words have we looked at so far? We've looked at primates, we've looked at plateau and mountain and inhabit, we've looked at terrestrial and arboreal as words, and I thought we'd just spend a little bit of time now making sure that we knew what all of these words were. So at night the gelada monkeys stay safe from predators. So predators are the creatures that naturally hunt and eat them. A gelada monkey's predators include animals such as these hyenas, hyenas with their spots, some of the most powerful jaws in the animal kingdom, and leopards, also spotted hunting cats. Okay, so they stay safe from predators such as leopards and hyenas by finding ledges on the cliffs that make up the plateau or the cliffs of the mountains. So these are the cliffs, these straight, very steep, up and down. These are the cliffs, and the ledges are these bits that just jut out or stick out slightly. They're very narrow lines, just enough space to stand or sleep on if you're a gelada monkey. So but we can see that picture of the plateau again. Uh, male gelada monkeys are significantly, sorry, significantly larger than females. So first of all, we should notice that scientists talk about male and female. They don't use boy monkeys and girl monkeys or Mr. Monkey and Mrs. Monkey. We're using the more formal term male and female. Male gelada monkeys are significantly larger than females. Well, we can see that in the picture. Significantly larger means quite a bit, noticeably bigger. So, can you see? Here's the male, here's the female, quite a bit bigger. You can also see that his mane of fur. So, he's got that kind of thicker hair on his head going down his back and over his shoulders. I would imagine it's quite cold in these mountains and they also must use that. That fur must be protective when they fight against rivals. Significantly larger. Okay, so your work today, you've got ooh, three different things to do. First of all, you've got to find uh, the words on the left, the scientific words, you've got to match them with their more common English. So terrestrial. Over here we've got to match it with one of the words on the other side. Well terrestrial, 
What does that word mean? It means to do with the ground or living on the ground or the earth. Aha. So there we are. I've matched those two together. If you can't print it out, that's fine. Just write it. Terrestrial means living on the ground or the earth. That's level one. Here's level two. Use one of the words, sorry, to fill in the gaps. Although they are excellent climbers, gorillas are classified as mm, primates. So which of the words will fit the gap? Mm -hmm. And then for level three, what I'd like you to do, please, is to try to write your own sentences about gelada monkeys. And uh, scientific words that we've been talking about and learning today, primates, terrestrial, arboreal, plateau, mountain, summit, peak, and predators. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight words. Can you challenge yourself to try and write eight sentences? Each sentence should try to use one of those words correctly about gelada monkeys. OK, so you've got to show me you understand those words. And I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more, enjoyed learning some scientific words. And we're going to try and use all of those in our writing tomorrow. So looking forward to seeing all of your work and seeing all of you soon. OK, bye, everybody.